Hi everyone, this is Chi from winery.ph and I have been a wine expert for over a decade now. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to decode some wine lingo that's used during tastings and after this video, you can use these same terms to appear as if you know what you're talking about when it comes to wine. So, let's get on with it. First is vintage. Vintage simply refers to the year where the grapes were harvested in the making of a particular wine. So if you see on your bottle 2021, that means that the grapes used for making the wine in that bottle were harvested in the year 2021. Next, natural wine. So natural wine, simply put, is wine made with minimal or zero intervention. Um, it is a wine that has been naturally fermented, no added sulfites were added to it. A lot of people confuse this with organic wine. Um, not all organic wine are natural, but all natural wine are actually made from organic grapes. Next word, appellation. Appellation. Uh, appellation just means an area that is designated specifically uh, for a wine and usually if you see it on a bottle, for example in a French bottle it says Appellation de Regime Controle, it just means that it is made in a heavily regulated zone where even the grapes used, um, the yield as well as wine making processes are legally mandated. So if you have that on the bottle, it's almost an indication or at least it should give you an idea of quality. Oaky. When you say that the wine is oaky, you are simply referring to aromas and flavors imparted to the wine uh, by fermentation in an oak barrel. Um, and normally, flavors of toast, vanilla, coconut, cedar, uh, pencil shavings. So next is court. So when a wine is corked, it just means that the wine has been affected or tainted with TCA. Corked wine is faulty and you will know that the wine is corked if it is musty, it smells like damp cardboard or wet newspaper. Next, closed. When a wine is closed, it's not open. Joke. When a wine is closed, it just means that the wine is actually not as expressive, it is not vibrant, you're not getting a lot of aromas and flavors in it. And most of the time, in order to solve that, you allow the wine to aerate or um, decant or stay in a glass for a few minutes before it actually opens. Next, bouquet. So even people like me sometimes get confused between bouquet and aroma. So aroma in wine refers to the primary and the secondary smells that you get. Um, it's usually coming from the grape variety that was used or uh, as a result of the fermentation or the winemaking process. Bouquet, on the other hand, refers to tertiary aromas in wine that is a result of aging. So these are things like mushroom, leather, wet forest floor, all of these aromas that are associated with a little bit of bottle age. Next, chewy. So how can the wine be chewy if it's liquid? When you say that a wine is chewy, you're basically talking about how it feels in the mouth. A chewy wine um, will have a little bit more structure, it's a little fleshy, it is more viscous or thicker on the palate. So. Uh, an example of chewy wine would probably be a New World Malbec, you know, with a lot of tannin, and a lot of acid. It's wine that you can really feel in your mouth. Next, New World. So New World refers to countries um, where wine is made outside of Europe. So countries such as Australia, the United States, and New Zealand are among uh, the New World wine producing countries. And the last, but definitely not the least, is dry. So a lot of people wonder, how can you say wine is dry? Dry just means that the wine is not sweet, that there is no residual sugar in the wine. So when you taste it, you do not detect a hint of sweet. So there you go. Those are the wine terms that I uh, wanted to decode for you today. If there is any other wine jargon that you want me to define, please leave us a message in the comment section below and we will try and answer them for you. Until the next video, cheers! Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to click subscribe and leave a comment below. And be sure to hit the notification bell so that you never miss another video. Again, this is Chi. And I'm Miggy. Till the next drink, cheers! cheers.